And as we said, over 20,000 scalpers are having a field day outside today. Here's O'Neal up strong this time in the low block. And that you have 20,000 people screaming and yelling behind you. It just gives you a, a huge adrenaline rush. A great bounce pass by Reggie Miller, and O'Neal slams one. Leading, he took a shot somewhere inside in there. So basically what I'm saying, Sean, is I couldn't score. <laughs> <laughs> O'Neal outside. Now you couldn't score inside the arc. Pacers have hit their last five shots in a row. With eight on the shot clock, make it six in a row. Yeah. Here's just two big guys battling for, for position. Brian just running through the bank, tries to get in front of them, fronts him. You see Odom getting over there just a tad too late. Point lead, so he was just huge in that second quarter. There he is, guarding Tinsley, but that leaves O'Neal open momentarily on the baseline, spinning around Grant. Nice move. Expand your game. That's how Tinsley was able to sneak in there and take that ball away. Here's another steal. That's a four-on-one. O'Neal lays it in. He's got a dozen. The lead swells to nine. And then the last trip, it was Harrington with the steal. And then it's all Pacer jerseys as O'Neal's the trailer and Wade can only wave him by. Miami had a three-and-a-half-minute field goal drop. They broke it the last trip, and now they give it right back up. You can't let the big man come down and establish position down low. Jermaine O'Neal has 13 points already. This crowd gets in, you see the body language of the Miami Heat. They're playing better defense, they're hustling, they're starting to make shots. That's why this home court advantage is so big for them. O'Neal gives the advantage right back to the Pacers and add one. Along the outside shooting, some wide open looks. O'Neal caps the three-point play. And Jermaine had almost talked that one in. Our chest weaving through white jerseys, has to give it up. O'Neal got it back off the miss. They'll try again. That little jump hook is good for his 20th first half point. And O'Neal right back at the free throw line. From the strike, 21 points in the first half. Block area. And not only that, he stepped outside and knocked down a few jumpers. Watch him moving without the basketball. It's a rarity for big men to have this type of agility, this type of mobility. Then he's banging inside, using that size over the top of Brian Grant. And then he's stepping outside, showing you his range. Tremendous big man. He's showing you the complete package. Why he finished third in the MVP voting this year. Seven of Odom's nine points in this quarter. And O'Neal just keeps taking over. Inside, outside, he's got it all working. Clear, that was a big time move. And I've been watching Tinsley in the pick and rolls. As O'Neal scores again, he's just unbelievable tonight. But when 30 points combined, he has 26 already in this half. He's got it going from everywhere on the floor, cut to the basket, getting rolled. 0 for 6. Haven't scored yet. You know, you're banging with Jermaine O'Neal the entire ball game. Your legs are going to be a little tired. There's Jones in double figures now for Miami. Here's the O'Neal Grant matchup. O'Neal, fadeaway jumper goes, and a foul on Grant as well. Oh, man. 30 for O'Neal and a chance to add to it. That's just superb concentration by Jermaine O'Neal. To the baseline, and Brian Grant, first off, is doing a good job moving his feet and his body. But Jermaine O'Neal, that's just too good. Not a lot you can do there. Not a lot anybody could do there against Jermaine O'Neal. There's nothing wrong with A test contested by Malik Gallup. Wade on the run. The foul by Buckley. Team trips down court have only produced one field goal. And almost a turnover there. O'Neal. Oh, man, 32 for O'Neal. And well, that's what the Heat needed. So he kept playing like he did in the first half. The Heat wouldn't have had a chance. Well, Tinsley goes all the way in and tipped in by Jermaine O'Neal. Nice recognition there by Jamal Tinsley. <laughs> <laughs> O'Neal at the line. Jermaine O'Neal. The name of the game is putting the ball in the bucket. The name of the game is winning. You did a lot of that when I was here, son. You know that. Well, well, I, know. I know that. O'Neal. I think it's time one more time to holler. The Heat have even the Eastern Conference semifinals with the top seeded Pacers. One hundred to eighty-eight, all even at.
two. This has been a presentation of ESPN, a worldwide leader in sports. For Sean Elliott, Dan Marley, and Doris Burke, Brad Nessler saying, good night from Miami. We'll see you back here next Tuesday.